Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Keda here, and today I have a new device. It is transistor tester. I got this for eighteen dollars. It is very simple. You have nine volts battery here, and you just place component into this zip socket, and press this test button, and you'll get the values of the components. So let's put this component and see. Okay, so as you can see, you can put component in any direction. It will detect the polarity also. As you can see, it is 2073 microfarad, and the original capacity is 2200 microfarads. Okay, so it is MDP 13N50. It is N-channel MOSFET. As you can see, in channel E MOSFET, we get the capacitance and the threshold voltage, 4.78 volts. Now it can measure the threshold voltages of the component. Uh, if if your component has a voltage below the 9 volts, cause the supply is 9 volts of this transistor tester. Now I have here 8050 transistor. So let's see whether is it is NPN or PNT. As you can see, it is NPN transistor. We get gain 300 and forward voltage VF 656 millivolts. And also we can get the pinouts here. We can refer to this one, two, three, and this labeling. And it is pretty usable. As you can see, we can quickly insert the components and take it out with this zip socket. As you can see, 70 nanofarad. Okay, so we also get the ESR and the V loss. And I'm going to put this uh, P channel MOSFET now. As you can see, P channel enhancement type MOSFET, and the capacitance is 1.4 nanofarad, and threshold voltage is 2.06 volts. Now you can measure inductance uh, with this transistor tester. As you can see, it is 16.8 ohms resistance and 1.27 Henry inductance. It can also detect two components at a time, as you know that this uh, potentiometer has a uh, two resistances in it. So as you can see, it detects the two resistance at a time, and also it can detect the forward voltage drop of these diodes. Quite easily, forward voltage drop 664 millivolts and the capacitance 9 picofarad. And uh, as you can see, if you don't put any component into it, then it will show no unknown or damaged part. Okay, so this transistor is faulty, is blown up. So let's put it in and see what we get. As you can see, it is detecting resistor, so we can surely detect whether the transistor is faulty or not. And it it is also same for other components. So I think it is uh, quite a useful gadget, and uh, you can also use SMD packaged components. And uh, onto the back side, as you can see, they have used 80 mega 328 is. Are do you know 8 megahertz version? Okay, friends. So if you want to buy this, you can surely get this on eBay or any other kind of site. But I have a source code for this transistor tester, so you can put it in your Arduino and use only six resistors and get this done with your Arduino. 
you just need 16 by 2 LCD and uh, you are ready to go basically so hope you like this uh, quick little uh, review on this transistor tester guys and uh, tell me what do you think in the comments down below and I will see you in the next one peace goodbye so please like this video share this video to your friends and subscribe for more stuff like this and goodbye thanks for watching